بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم um, once the month of muharram is finished this month of safar the second month of islamic calendar begins and on the first of safar is the uh, is the time when the ladies entered damascus it is when they were taken as captives uh, the holy ladies the granddaughters of the holy prophet and the daughters of ali and fatima alayhi salam sisters and daughters of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam they were taken to from karbala to kufa and then they took all a long route uh, and arrived in damascus when they arrived in damascus it was, it was first of safar in 61 hijra so first of safar is a mourning day and a very sad day when the ladies were brought to the court of yazid where they were all extremely sad probably they arrived in damascus and they had to wait to enter the court of yazid for the next few days and when they arrived in Damascus the people were throwing stones at them uh, and they were hitting them uh, when they were on camels so it was difficult for them to miss out uh, now Damascus was a difficult city because it was a city of Muawiyah who had always preached against Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam um, and the people hated uh, the the imam the imam ali alayhi salam they used to think that he did not pray because that's what had been preached against him so uh, they thought that he did not pray he was against islam they hated him and now they were being told that rebels are coming who are from the progeny of ali so if you want to take revenge your forefathers lost their lives in you know or your parents lost their lives in the battle of safin fighting against ali in nahrawan you can now take a revenge against his children so the people came in large numbers um, throwing stones at uh, at uh, the holy ladies. Now, when they entered the court of Yazid, Yazid was drinking alcohol and he was not only just drunk, but he was muckering Islam. You know, he was saying poetry, he was saying that Bani Hashim, the children of Hashim, the grandfather of the holy prophet, grand grandfather of the holy prophet, Hashim. He was saying that Bani Hashim played against us, Bani, Bani Umayyah, meaning and there was no, there is no God, there is no angel, there is no prophet, meaning he did not just deny Imam Hussain al-Islam, he denied everything, complete Islam. And he was laughing and he said, today if my forefathers were alive, then they would see that I have taken revenge for the Badr and Uhud, uh, you know, the battle of Badr. And I have now killed the grandson of uh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa um, so they would be proud of me that I have killed uh, the family of the Holy Prophet. And the ladies were standing and he was asking the names of each and every lady. He asked Imam Sajad who they were. So they were being disgraced. So the first of Safar is a very difficult time. Now, when they entered, he, uh, he asked for the names of the Shuhada and he had the, the heads uh, in front of him. Um, and then came a time when Imam Sajad wanted to give a sermon. It was a Friday, first of Safar. Uh, the khutbah, the, the uh, Friday prayer had been led by a person who was uh, cursing Ali ibn Abi Talib salam. Imam Sajjad then asked for permission and said, I want to uh, deliver a sermon. Yazid and his army refused Imam Sajjad salam. Then stood up Zainab al-Kubra salam alayha. She gave the most eloquent sermon. And then she said to Imam Sajjad, now rise my master and deliver. O my Imam, deliver your sermon. And at that point, Yazid wanted to stop him. He wanted to stop Janabi Zainab al-Kubra, but he could not because the entire atmosphere had changed. And everyone wa was telling Yazid that, let them speak, we want to hear what has happened. 